So The Invisible Man is a horror movie directed by Leigh Whannell, and he's actually worked alongside my favorite director, James Wan, in producing some of my favorite horror movies, such as the Insidious films as well as the Saw films. And the premise for this movie centers around this uh, girl named C, who leaves her abusive ex, but her ex has finds a way to make himself invisible, and he still kind of follows her after their breakup and really tries to make her life pretty much a living hell. And, you know, in that sense, in that way, this movie really is more so a psychological thriller than a traditional horror movie in the sense that it has jump scares and, like, cliche edits. I'm sure you do have, like, the moments where, like, knives and stuff like that are, like, levitating in the air and, like, ooh, that's spooky. But a lot of the horror uh, really comes from, like, just seeing her, the girl Cece's life unravel due to her, her invisible boyfriend, you know, who's, like, making her life hell. Um, and the characters as well in this film are, they're, they're enjoyable, you know, you have to like, a lot of the characters are likable, uh, they're well fleshed out, um, and that's like, that easily is a really big problem in like a lot of traditional like horror movies or just horror movies in general, so I'm glad that the characters were rounded out um, and fleshed out. Uh, and even though like the plot itself is like pretty like interesting, you know, the ability to make herself invisible, how like she's trying to like live with like her ex-boyfriend, like being invisible, messing up her life. Uh, the execution really isn't like all there. And I said that because the movie's plot, uh, movie's ending is very confusing and it, there are a lot of plot holes as well. Uh, you know, it just makes you, it just raises a lot of questions by the time the movie credits roll around and it leaves you scratching your head because it really just makes all the actions prior to that in the movie by the, by their characters uh, just very confusing. So I just wish if like the plot was a little bit more sound um, and a little bit more well thought out and executed, then the movie would be much better uh, than it already is. So that's definitely like its one like downfall. Uh, definitely needs to like, have its plot a little, make, make more logical sense. But yeah, that concludes my review for... Uh, the Invisible Man, definitely a great movie. Definitely watch it. Um, give it a watch for sure. Um, the plot holes again, yeah, kind of confusing. Try to follow along, uh, follow along as best as you can. But if you can get past the plot holes and a little bit of a confusing plot uh, and just get like, the basics down, then it's an enjoyable and fantastic film. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and like and subscribe for more.